Okay, guys and girls, it is Ashwin again, and Friday has come along yet again. These weeks are absolutely flying by, and that means it's time for another installment of Flawless Fridays. And yes, I'm using the MP7, whatever. This is the first time I've posted an MP7 gameplay in about, well, over a month. I've just checked, so it is over a month, so don't hate on this. It's a nice 39 no gameplay, and I am clearing out my online vault, and this was in there, so I thought, you know what, why not use this? It is a bit laggy because it was on a live stream. I'm pretty sure it was on a live stream. It's been in the vault for a long, long time, so I just wanted to get it out there. And it, as I say, it is a pretty decent gameplay, but don't really want to talk about the gameplay today. I'm going to do a little question and answer thing. Uh, I asked you guys if you had any questions that you wanted to ask me or if you were curious about my life in any way and stuff. And a few of you have posted on my Twitter. I wanted people to interact on Twitter more, so I said... If you've got a question, please post it on Twitter. Don't can't leave a don't leave it in the comments or post it on Facebook. I'd like to hear from you on Twitter. Um, so we'll get into it. I'm gonna apologise if I pronounce people's names wrong. Um, obviously some of them can be a bit tricky <laughs> if you look at them and you just pronounce them how you think. Um, so as I say, I'm sorry if I get it wrong. Um, I'll try my best. Basically, so the first question is. From Herms or Hermes Kruskos, I think that's how you pronounce it. This is probably the hardest name on this list that I have to pronounce. The rest seem pretty simple, but I hope I got your name right. And he asks, he just says Pepsi or Coca-Cola, and that question, you know, is possibly the most simple question that I could ever answer. Coca-Cola, all the way. I'm not a big fan of Pepsi. I think Pepsi tastes like shite, to be honest. Um, Love Coca-Cola, not so much the full fat stuff, I drink Diet Coke and Coke Zero. Um, I prefer Coke Zero to Diet Coke, but I do I do absolutely love Diet Coke as well. And if it's out of the bottle, I, I think bottles are amazing, like glass bottles. Glass bo bottles absolutely shit all over cans and shit all over the plastic bottles as well. It tastes so much better out of a glass bottle. If you've never had it, we get it at work, we get it in glass bottles, so we have Diet Coke and... Um, normal Coca-Cola in glass bottles at work and it, it tastes so good so definitely Coca-Cola all the way for that one hands down um, next question is just Blake asks how did I get into gaming um, I've been playing games for since PlayStation 1 basically and because I've had a PlayStation 1 that means I've been PlayStation pretty much all the way so the first games I played were like Crash Bandicoot and Adidas Power Soccer I'm guessing a lot of you guys have never heard of that game it's pretty much a poor man's FIFA. It was absolutely shit. If you look, if you look back at it, um, I don't know if you can find any clips on YouTube, but the graphics graphics are totally wank. But that was one of the first games I had. It was that, oh, and also Ridge Racer. I don't know if anyone remembers that. It was a quite a crap game, racing game. Uh, most of the graphics on PlayStation One were terrible, but for that time when it came out in the early '90s, it was amazing. But yeah. That's the reason I got into gaming. I got one one Christmas and might have found the PlayStation before Christmas arrived and played a bit of Crash Bandicoot without my dad knowing. Uh, bit of a bad boy there, but that's that's the reason I absolutely loved it. And then I played PC games as well. I've not really got into like shoot 'em ups until a couple of years ago when uh, I was playing around at Gillies and he had Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And I thought I'd give this a go. Mainly I've just been into FIFA and stuff. I love Grand Theft Auto, but they've been, really been the only games that I play. But that's the reason I got into gaming. Aaron Benion asks my top five games of all time. Not really thought about this one, to be fair. Um, Crash Bandicoot. I love the Crash Bandicoot series. They'd be, they'd be second behind Grand Theft Auto. I absolutely love Grand Theft Auto. Um, Call of Duty. I'm using like the, the, like the main games here. Call of Duty... I might put that in third, I'm not saying which one. I, I think Modern Warfare 2 has been my favourite purely because that was the first one that I really got into. Um, I, that's all I can think of really. Oh, I love I love the Championship Manager series on the PC, so I'd put that four. And uh, thinking of a fifth one, uh, FIFA. Let's stick FIFA in fifth, um, just because I've absolutely loved FIFA. FIFA, FIFA with a TH? No, FIFA, um, since I first started playing it. Um, Brandon Nelson says, you have mentioned you'd like to travel in your videos, is the USA part of your list, if so, which parts? Yes, I'd definitely love to come to the USA at some point, not really thought of the parts I go, probably the touristy parts like New York, um, LA, Florida, just places like that, I'd quite like to visit San Francisco as well, but as I say, that's not high up on my list, 
uh, at the moment. If I'm going traveling, my next part is Thailand, and then I'll probably travel Europe. Um, Joe Smith says, if you could have any gun in real life, what would it be? I'm going to answer that by saying, I don't want a gun. You can keep your fucking guns. Guns cause too much trouble. I don't care about guns. Only playing Modern Warfare 3. I, don't, I wouldn't want one in real life, if I'm totally honest with you. Um, I think... They cause, as I say, way too much trouble and too much damage. And people, if they get in the wrong hands, which you read all these stories or you hear all these stories on news about people using guns and stuff, and nice yeah, going on a fucking massacre, which is ridiculous. These people are absolutely fucking mental and need locking up, or I, I think they need hanging, to be fair. Um, but anyway, guys, this video is about to come to an end. That's a nice note to end on. Uh, another episode of Flawless Friday has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for your questions, guys. I'll do another Q&A soon. Have a great weekend. Um, I'm going to try and post Monday because I'm busy all weekend. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you all later.